Okay, so this isn't gonna make sense, but I feel like my eyes are out of focus. I'm probably gonna be shifting in and out of focus during this video, but. Setup, but like I didn't know what to do and I got kind of bored with how I was filming so I thought I'd just shift it up a little bit I do not know what my bangs are doing I thought filming in front of this window would be like nice lighting but it's like kind of an awkward situation there's nothing really behind me beside my couch so I moved my candle so hopefully that's uh, something for you <laughs> oh yeah intro hi I'm Margie <laughs> this is my channel <laughs> or should I say hi I'm Margie and you're watching Disney Channel do 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 yeah. It's like, I can't get over whatever the heck my bangs are doing. They looked good this morning, but then I came home from church and got in my pajamas, and now we're here. I thought I would do a really quick and simple Christmas list video, because uh, I asked you guys about it on my Instagram story, and you guys seemed to uh, really want it. I used to enjoy watching videos like this a lot when I was younger, because, um, if you don't know me, hi, I love Christmas, like, a lot. I know everyone loves Christmas, but I love Christmas. I, and that's a whole other thing. We'll wait to December to do that, but just so you know, I started listening to Christmas music in March. It ends in January, I last a month of February, and then it's right back on in March. By the way, this feels like a tea time with Margie, but it's not. Truth be known, I'm really drinking tea in any of my videos, you just don't always see the mug because I'm taking sips in between takes. So I'm always really weird with my Christmas list. Like, I feel, I stress about it so much. Like, I just do. I'll probably change it like 20 more times before I finish it, like after this video. Cause like, it's just, I feel bad cause I feel like I'm either putting too much or too little on there. I'm like, oh, is it too expensive? Oh dear, what, ah. I literally, okay, I number them and like what I want the most to what I would like be fine with like dropping off the list. Then I add links to every single item and then <laughs> I add discount codes. <laughs> I find discount codes and put them on the list. It's just like I can't help but be considerate and it's a problem. <laughs> oh yeah, who is that lovely lady on the mug there? She is adorable, isn't she? Yeah, that's little me. Oh, back when I was cute. I guess we could just like go ahead and get started. This is like gonna be very chill. With the disclaimer that I don't expect to get all of this, I'm just discussing with you some things that are probably gonna be on my Christmas list. This is just a general wish list of things that would be nice to have, but it's not like I'm gonna die if I don't have them. So the first thing that's on my Christmas list, which is probably at the top of my list, is just a pair of Doc Martens. I know that's very basic, but I just admire Doc Martens a lot. <laughs> I have a pair of like black rain boots that are like kind of like Doc Martens, except you know, not. <laughs> I got them like in spring of this year, falling apart and they smell. They've been like my go-to shoe for an outfit that I was like, oh, Doc Martens would look really good with this, but you know, don't have them yet. So I just want the, you know, OG black ones. I went to Journeys and tried them on and I love them so much. I'm so excited. That's like number one thing on my Christmas list. The next thing are the lazy, oh, happy, sad, dungaree over all in black <laughs> which is from urban outfitters look at me being trendy uh, your girl is broke and cannot shop at urban outfitters for every single outfit even though I would like to but I just think these overalls are the cutest thing in the world and I just feel like they fit my personality so nicely they're literally just overalls with doodles of smiley faces and frowny faces on them that's adorable but they come in white and black and I want them black because I, I, I don't know they just seem really cute and I want them so I really love baby doll dresses I just think the cut of them is really cute and they just intrigue me so I was on dope and I was just looking at baby doll dresses and then like you know I'm scrolling and all of a sudden I see sunflowers and I'm like um click and then I see this which is adorable it's a sunflower baby doll dress and it is from dolls kill which is a little frightening um I suddenly feel the need to go look at the box of American girl dolls in my closet <laughs> Everyone I've showed this dress to, they're like, oh yeah, that's a marquee dress, you need that. So the next thing are some PJs. I have a lot of PJs, but it's just kind of 
there. They're a mess. I just, it's a mess. <laughs> While I was browsing on Forever 21, I went to like their like most popular section and I came across pajamas and they're the cutest thing ever. And then I started looking in Forever 21's pajama section. They have so many cute pajamas. Like if I could just have a pajama shopping spree, I would go to Forever 21's website and just like add everything to my cart. But these were my favorite. They are some navy, like silky, like PJs. I just think they're the cutest. I know I'm saying cutest a lot, but my vocabulary span is like, you know, this big. So <laughs> we're dealing with what we got. Now, next thing is also from Forever 21. It is these contrast stitch overalls. And I've had my eye on them for a while. Cause again, they're the cutest. <laughs> they're like a rusty orange color. And I don't know. I want that. In the picture, this model has like on this, you know, great shirt under it that like matches it perfectly. I look all over Forever 21, cannot find that shirt. I look all over a bunch of different websites and I can't find it. So um, we're just going with the next best option. I just went with this striped mock neck top because I feel like it's a basic that I'll wear with other stuff, but I feel like it also look good under the overalls. So here's another thing that I'm like, you know, still kind of deciding on. It's another pair of shoes and I've wanted them. I've had my eye on them for a while, but like I didn't want to get them because I like felt like I would be basic because you know, everyone has them, but like the truth is they're cute and that's the end of it. They're really cute and I feel like I would wear them with a lot of stuff. Like I'm always just wearing my high top black Converse or boots. So I feel like to switch it up every once in a while, these shoes would be very good essential. In conclusion, I find myself wanting some checkered black and white fans. <laughs> no, stay up. This is not the ideal position to film. Also the camera just cut off so I had to fix that. <laughs> what are we talking about? So this next little section is like makeup. Woo. So I'm not a big makeup person. Yes, I do wear makeup on the daily. I mean like unless I'm just lounging around at home, I'm probably going to put on makeup. Even if I am lounging around at home, I'm probably gonna put on makeup. If I get ready, if I get like dressed, I'm probably gonna put on makeup. If I go out, I'm probably gonna put on makeup. If I film a video, I'm probably gonna put on makeup. But I don't wear a lot. I just really wear the bare minimum. I'm really an advocate of the no makeup makeup look kind of thing. There's been times where I've been confident enough to not wear any makeup, and there's other times where I have to slap on concealer and mascara. <laughs> but truth be known, I don't really wear a ton of makeup. Makeup. Although I do find myself wanting a few things to just, you know, step up my makeup game a little bit. These are just two things that interest me and I feel like they'd be fun to try out. So this started out with me wanting a highlighter because it's pretty. <laughs> I just like it. It's like just adorable. I don't own highlight. My friend Kaden has done my makeup in the past and in the past when she's done my makeup she has put highlight on me and it's so cute. It's just sparkly and pretty and it's just like glowy. I just love having glowy skin. I put my moisturizer on kind of obsessively. It makes my skin super glowy and I use I use Thayer's or Thayer's rose water spray and that also makes my skin super glowy and I just like having glowy skin. So I asked my friend Kaden like you know what brand I should go with. What like shade of highlighter I should go with. She recommended Glossier to me. I had heard of before obviously and wanted to try it out. I looked into it and these two products I thought I would really enjoy. So the first thing is the boy brow and the other thing is their highlighter and I want it in quartz because you know they say that's a good universal color. The next thing is these like great awesome hippie sunglasses from Amazon. I've just been wanting some circular glasses and I think these are the coolest and plus they're yellow tinted. I just think those are cool and also if I wasn't sold the photos they have on Amazon sold me. Like just look at yeah. Yeah, I I want to be her. <laughs> so another kind of skin related thing I want these Bior nose strip thing. I just <laughs> you know in those like Disney Channel original movies where like the girls would wake up and they'd have these little like nose strips on. And I always remember <laughs> I used to be like <laughs> I don't know why I thought this, but I'd just be like oh, I can't wait till I'm a teenager and I wear those little weird things on my nose. <laughs> Who thinks that? You're also probably thinking, um, what Disney Channel movies did you watch? I really think it was only in that Debbie Ryan movie, the 16th. You know what I'm talking about? I have noticed that this is probably gross, but I have like clogged nose pores. And I know a lot of people do, but like, it just bothers me. Like it doesn't bother me so much, but like, it just annoys me and I could, you know, do without them. <laughs> so I thought it'd be fun to try these out. I think that like sums it up for the most Part. Like again, I can see myself adding a t-shirt or something like that. But other than that, I don't think I'd add anything else to extreme. And then as for like 
extra stuff or whatever. Gym stuff because I really only have a few basics that I, you know, kind of rotate around to wear to the gym. So maybe some new gym stuff to add into that cycle of switching around. Um, mugs for my tea. I think some cute mugs would, you know, really spread some happiness. <laughs> socks because I just, I love socks. They're just so comfy. Oh, a journal because I really want to start bullet journaling in 2019. I want to make that like one of my New Year's resolutions. People who I've talked to who bullet journal say they think really think I would enjoy it. And then skincare, you know, just the, the stocking stuff or whatever. Just any old face mask or just like that weird thing you pass in Target that says it's a skincare thing, but it looks kind of sketchy. Yeah, I want all of that. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, that's it. Like I said, I might take something off or, you know, add a t-shirt or something like that, but I don't think it's going to change to drastically. We're just keeping it really simple. This was like a really rough draft of a video, but I hope it was okay. So tell me in the comments, what is on your Christmas list? What is that like number one thing you want this year? Tell me if you'd like to see a video of me just ranting about how much I love Christmas because I, I I could do that for you. Oh, another thing that I might want for Christmas is some frames so I can hang up my photo ops with Jennifer Morrison. That's something I need to get done. I might just need to go buy those myself. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, There's not really much else to say, so... I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, YouTube. So if you want, you can subscribe down below. It'd mean a lot to me. Also, I really like thumbs up. They help me out a lot. There's links all around me, so you know, check those out or whatever. I'd really appreciate if you checked out my last video. I went vegan for a week and I'm just really proud of the video that I made. Yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic Thanksgiving and um, goodbye for real this time.